Welcome to Electron Line, and in order to understand this all better, when we say understanding, we talk about random variables and probability distributions, we have to understand the terminology behind it. So let's review some of that terminology. And so again, the definition of a random variable is a variable whose outcome or value is subject to a random process, which means that its value is determined simply by chance. So let's say we use our example again where we flip a coin three times. These are the eight different ways in which an outcome can occur. All tails, two tails and a head, tails, head, tails, and so forth. And now we're going to define some specific terms. A sample point is the outcome of an, ex of, of an experiment. It's a simple outcome or a single outcome. So any one of these could be considered a, a sample point. A sample space is the set of all possible sample points. In other words, all of these together will form the sample space. So the way we write sample space is S is equal to, and of course we put in all the possible, what we call sample points or outcomes. So tail, 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 tail head, tail. head, head, and there you go. That would be what's considered the sample space. Any one of these is what we call a sample point or also the outcome or a outcome of an experiment. An event is a subset of a sample space. In other words, the event could be that you get two heads and a tail. How many of those are there? Well, let's see, we have two heads and a tail here, uh, two heads and a tail, two heads and a tail. So you can see there's one, two, three sample points which would then comprise that particular event. And x now, x being the random variable, in this case, let's say we define it as the number of tails, but that doesn't assign a particular value to x. That's the interesting thing about a random variable. A random variable doesn't have a single value. A random, value, a, a random variable has a number of possible values. And so in this case, the number of possible values are 0, 1, 2, or 3, because you could have 0 tails, 1 tail, 2 tails, or 3 tails. So therefore, x can take on any of those values when you toss a coin three times. And as we define, let x be the number of tails. We could define, let x be the number of heads, or any other kind of things. So we could even define x as the number of tails minus the number of heads, whatever. You, know, you can make x just about anything you want. But again, notice that the possible values means that there's no one specific value for x, it could be a number of values. And then of course later on we'll get into what is the probability that x will have this value and not that value and so forth. Okay, hopefully that will give you a good insight to the terminology of the probability and the random variables with probability distribution. And now we can go on and show you some good examples.